Hey everyone, it's Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs. So I'm live. Again, if you're watching the replay, um, you might want to fast forward because I'm going to wait for a few um, of my crafty friends. See if anybody's available today. We're going to be making embellishments. That's okay. Hey, there's my Amy. How are you, honey? You doing good today? Hi, Laura. Good morning. Hi, Aaron. He is doing so much better. You know, tomorrow will be two weeks and he's doing great. Hi. Hi, Norma Lisa. How are you? So, yes, thank you, Erin. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know, again, still a long road, but the road is getting shorter. <laughs> oh, you're hanging out with your little guy. That's so sweet. So, so sweet. Yes, Erin, thank you, sweetie, for asking. I'm just so happy. Oh, good. Good. Nor Do you go by Norma, Lisa, or Norma? Or at least I just want to make sure I get your name right. And I'm really bad at names, by the way. Gosh, I hate that, you know? I swear my brain doesn't work right. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. How are you? So glad you guys have joined me. Okay, I have to, I have to make a confession, all right? So if you remember, if you guys have watched, you know, the last couple lives, we're making these tower of embellishments and I started to make a memory decks card girls. Oh, I'm good. Thank you, Barbara. Um, I haven't done anything with it this week. I have been drawing a little bit. I'm not an artist by any means, but I've just been kind of painting, drawing, you know, it's a good stress reliever. And so I've been doing a lot of that. Hi, Marcy. So I haven't done a lot of paper crafting this week and I'm really excited to be doing a lot of paper crafting this weekend. And plus, you guys know if you work, you know, with work and stuff, it can be hard. This was my first week back to work after everything. So yeah. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. He is doing much better. I was just saying tomorrow is two weeks um, since the accident and, and he's really doing well. So thank you for asking. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I need to make embellishments to fit these little boxes, right? So I'm going to set these aside. I got to finish, you know, decorating the memory decks card. So I was thinking, okay, now remember, these boxes are only one inch in depth. And I've mentioned last time, if I do this again, I might do two inches in depth or one and a half, because then you can fit, you know, more dimensional, but that's okay. We're going to, we're going to work with this. So because of that, um, I'm not going to be able to do really really dimensional things, right? So I thought of a few things to start off with. I mean, obviously the memory decks card, but I thought, and I'm not great at this, but I've been collecting beads. <laughs> I love these wooden, or, or I don't even know, they might be plastic, but um, hey, Lauren. But I thought I could make some cute little dangly charms and package those up because they will definitely fit. So that's one thing I want to do. The other thing is, and we talked about crepe paper rosettes last time. So I, I have a few different colors, purple, kind of a hot pink, pink, because I thought these would be colors that, look at that hot pink will look cute, but that would go, maybe not the purple, but that'll go well. And I might have some green off the look, because green would definitely, because I'm using the Patio Party, if you remember, collection. Um, oh, thank you, Amy. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you did, Barbara. Wow. How was it? <laughs> How was it? I, you guys, I, I put that um, poll out on my community tab. Hi, Kathy. About should I get the Gemini Junior, right? Because I'm tired of cranking the dang thing, you know? I think, Lauren, you and I agree about that. But anyway, um, because I saw on Hobby Lobby and somebody else mentioned this on my community poll that it's $129 right now, which is a pretty good deal because you get dyes and a few other things with it, you know, and that's from Hobby Lobby. 
So I am tempted. I got paid yesterday. I'm like, oh, should I treat myself? I think I should have been through a lot. <laughs> so I should be treating Zachary. Although I will say this. Um, yesterday, so my granddaughter, because I always go, it's Friday payday, because then she gets what we call a special. So I've got Delaney, my new baby granddaughter, and then I've got Lily, of course, and then my two other ones that are Hannah's um, children, Gracie and Atticus. So I went shopping for the kids yesterday, um, and Lily wanted Barbie clothes and hangers in a Barbie closet, and I found them. And she was thrilled. And then I got Delaney, the baby, some cute little stuff. And I got for Zach and Hannah. It's really cute. And you guys have probably seen it. And I got it at uh, Walmart. And what it is, it's like a frame and then the plaster stuff. So you can do like her little handprint. So you can put a picture on one side. It's like a frame that, you know, opens up. You can set it on a dresser or whatever. And then the little handprint or footprint. So they really like that. Yeah. Oh, the Gemini is 99 the junior 129. Why is the Gemini? Oh, is that the Gemini go? I bet that's the Gemini go. Great prices. I know. I, I, I think Marcy get it. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna. Anyway, I better go today though. Cause I forget they're closed on Sundays. Right. So I gotta, I gotta go. They might, well, I should call. They, every time I've been to Hobby Lobby, you know, they usually only have one or two of those things like the silhouette, you know, unless they have them in the back. Um, so I probably want to make sure they have them before I head out there. But so yesterday, the specials for the kids, um, Gracie is nine or is she 10 now? Anyway, um, so I got her some fun stuff like bath bomb, how to make that. Oh, I went to five below for the first time and I got her some like how to make bath bombs, like a little bath bomb kit and some little makeup stuff and fingernail polish. And so they really liked it. So that was yesterday. Um, so while I was at five below, cause I'd never been there. You guys, I had, I found a few things that I picked up. So check this out. These pens, look how cute they are. You've got pink and this is like a white chevron. And then you've got the white with the pink chevron, the gold with the blue. I just think they're so cute. They were $3 and you get, let's see, one, two, three, four. Six, six times three, 18 pens for $3. I mean, I hope they work, but I thought perfect for traveler's notebooks because I love using these. These are kind of my favorite colors anyways, more of a minty green, but still very pretty. So I thought, oh gosh, that's awesome, right? So I got those. Um, oh, the small Gemini was 99 clearance. That's great. I know, Amy. I was like, this is going to be perfect for Christmas. That five below is awesome. And we just got one here in Omaha, not that, like, I think around Easter. So, yeah. Hi, Chrissy. I know. Love the pen colors. Okay. So I got that. And then I saw they had some cute, like, journals. This is a pink one with, like, a kind of like a mirror, a little bit of an iridescent heart with like the stitching around it and it's it feels really nice and it's just uh lined paper right but it's really pretty with this satin pink ribbon thing you know so i got that this one i don't know the price isn't a, i don't remember but it's five or below right five below <laughs> this i also got it's kind of like a little traveler's notebook it says free spirit and again it's so like a fake leather soft is what it is. And then you open the snap and it kind of folds all the way out. There's no pockets, but it's very soft. And it actually has one elastic in there. So you could certainly replace this. But this says, do what you love, love what you do. It says, and so the adventure begins. And then, yeah. I mean, what a great place to like get stuff for our crafty friends to include as like a little gift you know what i mean a nice little thing to do and of course i could put a pen with these whatever so i ended up getting these did i get any oh i did get one other th i didn't get a lot for myself i got a lot for the kids but this is another thing i think would be cute for happy <laughs> you guys it's a iridescent unicorn with the little feet and it's a big pom-pom isn't that cute hi jenny Oh, you do, Erin. Isn't that, I think it's so pretty. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I got two of these. Oh, and he even has a little tail. Any cute. Now these were, 
let's see if it tells me because you guys we know it's five below so but i don't know it doesn't tell me i don't think they were five though but i can't remember them and then like three or something but i thought those were cute so wouldn't that be cute to add you know to like a little happy meal thing so anywho i could have given those to my granddaughters but i didn't i kept them <laughs> all right girls so i'm gonna make some charmy tassel things that's one thing i'm gonna do I'm going to make some crepe paper rosette things and maybe some rosettes with paper. And I'm also going to be doing, what did I do with my dies? Oh, here they are. I, the ones that I picked out last week, I want to do some tags and I really want to do some cute swan embellishments because again, I want them to fit in these one inch depth boxes and some bows. So I figured this was a good um, little set to put out um you know to play with and i got some different tags over here that i like and i could do tags with not a lot of embellishments and that way whoever gets it would would be able to use them and then of course these are some bag toppers this is a rosette die i don't know that i'll use it because i do like making handmade rosettes oh i did buy one thing at well another thing at walmart let me show you let me move these out of the way because um we're going to get to this a little bit later, okay? This makes me nervous because I'm not very good at this. But look, I'm getting quite the collection though, right? All right, so let me get these out of the way real quick. Um, but so remember how we were talking about um, uh, trimmers last week, right? You guys. And I, I was saying, okay, the regular Fisker trimmers. Oh, by the way, I got some more blades. They sell these at Walmart. That's where I got them. Um, and remember, I love, love, love this one. I mean, obviously not for 12 by 12, but, oh, you were able to get the full size Gemini $45. Are you serious, Laura? Where, 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 where? Um, and Jenny, hi again. Okay. So love, love, love this one. Check out what I got at Walmart. I don't even know why, because... I probably don't need it. What did I? I don't even know what the heck I did with it. Oh, I do need my hot glue gun. Um, hold on, Mary Beth, you just had it. You j literally just had it. Ah, one second, guys. Oh my god, I feel so unorganized. Oh, I did pick up a whole bunch of more vent covers because remember, that's what I use. I know I could probably go on Amazon, but I really needed them. So I just picked them up at Walmart. Um, I use those for my dyes um, and I needed more because I'm still trying to, you know, put all those away. Oh, here it is. Uh, um, I picked up some more foam sheets. Were these from Walmart? I got these a little bit ago. I think they were. And they're, there's 32. These might be from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. It was either Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I love that it says three plus. <laughs> I'm over three. <laughs> Hi, Marcella. Hi, Creative Mommy. How's it going? Um, so uh, I love the colors. Um, so, anyways, I got two packs of these. They were they weren't very expensive. I can't, I might have gotten them at Walmart. They may have only been like 97 cents or a dollar or something like that. Anyway, I got a couple of those because I love die cutting with them. That's what I like to do. You guys, look at this adorable little teeny weeny <laughs> guillotine, guillotine, whatever you say, trimmer. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Because if you're working with smaller strips, it's just so handy. It's light. You can, you know, it's so, so cute. Um. Oh, Lauren, we can try. I think I tried before and it didn't really work but I know the thin lit dies do. I'll try again while we're on here um, because I don't remember. So um, anyway, if I missed anyone, I certainly apologize. I hope I didn't. Um, you guys, it's four inches this way and four. So it's, is it only four this way? No, it's longer this way. Let's see. Six. It's like a little four by six. It's probably for card makers, you know, but I had to get it. It was so cute. I don't remember the price. It was at Walmart. So anyway. And I got a pink stapler a while ago. Isn't that adorable? Because I like to use these to make my crepe paper rosettes, which let's start with that. Why don't we start with that? So here's what we're going to do. Just get some strips of crepe paper. My scissors. 
I know, Marcy. It's, you and I like the little things, don't we? The little miniature things. Oh, gosh, Erin, it's so cute. I can't remember. Was it like $8 or something? I mean, I just had to have it. I just had to have it, Erin. I don't know why, but I think it might come in handy. I don't know. <laughs> so I usually do, oh, God, usually do maybe about 10 inch. I don't know. I just estimate this one may not be long enough, but if it's not, it just is smaller in diameter. That's the difference. Okay. And you guys probably know how to do this, but I know some people were wondering, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, so what I do is now I'm right-handed. So on my left hand, I just kind of start with my thumb and finger holding it, obviously. And then you just basically accordion fold, but you don't accordion fold straight like that. Okay. You accordion fold at like a little angle, okay, like that. Um, oh, Laura, that's a good idea. Yeah, because then somebody can just go get plates on their own. You know what I mean? That'd still be an amazing deal. Yes. Okay, so that's all I do. And then while I do it, and you know, it takes practice. When I first started making these, it was a hot, hot mess. Not that mine are great, but they're definitely better than they were. And I don't know if you can see, um, but I'm slightly, you know, kind of turning it as I go. And the bottom of that accordion fold is always in the middle, um, you know, like this. So I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I do it. Hi, Creating for Fun. Thanks for joining Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way around and you kind of get your, you know what I like to do when I want to make a bunch of these and kind of have them on hand is literally I'll just sit in front of the TV and whip these out, watch a stupid Lifetime movie, you know, which I love. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love Lifetime movies and they're so predictable. Oh my God, every time. And it doesn't matter. I still watch the dang thing. Um, <laughs> oh, good. You need to try. Marcy, just keep doing it. <laughs> you guys, I, I'm now another thing that I've seen people do. Let me show you when I get to the end here is, and this is a good, good, good idea. I'll show you in a quick second here. And when I do get to the end, notice this was where I started. I'm just slightly overlapping. And since I only have this much left, I'm basically just going to do one more. Um, no need to really cut that off. And then all I do is I, does this thing, I just got it. Oh yeah. It has staples in it. Um, all I, Hey Denise, it's your first time here. Hi k Payne. Um, all I do is go in the middle and staple it as best I can. Sometimes I have to do it twice. If I don't, uh, get it, it you know, right where I want it, like probably this one. So no big deal because typically, you know, we're going to cover that up when we embellish them anyways. Now I want you to look, this is all craziness right here. Do you see that? So there's a couple things you can do. You can take, if you have little circle dies and run them through, they run just fine because um, the staples are covered up with the plates. So you're good there and run them through your die cutting machine. You could do one that has little cute edges or whatever. And I've seen a lot of people do that. Or if you're lazy like me, I just trim the best I can. I should run them through my die cutting and try to make them as circular as I can. Okay. So, um, Hey Paula. Thank you. <laughs> says he can. Yes, Lauren, I've seen it. I've seen people do it. I haven't even tried it, but they've said, don't worry about the staples. Cause again, think about it. You got your plates over it the staples aren't going to ruin your machine. Now that's what people have said. So, and I've seen them do it on camera. Now, remember what I'm doing in case you guys are joining, don't know. Um, on my last week's live, I made three pizza boxes. Okay. Um, four by four, five by five, six by six. Okay. And I'm, I'm calling them a tower of embellishment boxes. Okay. So <laughs> all up. Oh, K pain. I'll answer that in one moment, okay? I gotta, I'll go through my little history of that. Um, I know, Laura. <laughs> you can make rosettes while you're watching them. Anyway, 
So I only make their little pizza boxes are only one inch in depth. I've already mentioned you could make them one and a half, two inches, which I may do next time. So if I want to fill them up, you know, with little um, embellishments, um, keep in mind, you know, well, this memory doc, Dex card won't fit, but it'll go on the other one. But you can't have a lot, a lot of dimension, right? So I'm going to make some cute little charms. I'm going to make some cute little rosettes. I've got a memory dex card, that sort of thing to put inside. Okay. So that's what I'm working on. So I have to keep in mind, they're only one inch in depth. Now, if I want to make some dimensional stuff, which I love to do, I'll package them separately. It's not like a big deal. It's just that to fill these, they have to be not as dimensional. Okay. So I know they're sappy. Okay, K Payne. So um I have gotten a lot of dyes. When Hobby Lobby does that 75% off clearance, which they knock on wood, keep doing it because they've been doing it pretty frequently, like several times a year. I stock up. Tuesday morning is where I get a lot of dyes. You can get a lot of dyes there. Um, AliExpress, I have ordered only twice but I've had no problems and I've gotten that. Now I only order from like Alina Cuddles, the only place I've ordered from thus far. And the reason why is she doesn't steal designs. She has her own designer. So I, I would like to support, you know, someone like that, obviously. So those are really the three places. I mean, I have gotten a couple at Michael's only using like my, of course, a 40% off coupon, right? So that's, I hope that answers your question. Okay. And these ladies that are on the chat can also give you some ideas, you know, on if you want to know kind of where people get dyes. So, anywho, here we go. So we got that one. I'm going to do a couple more and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with these. Um, I wanted to do the hot pink because I think that's going to look really cute. It's looking red, you guys. It's not. It's hot pink. But on the camera, for whatever reason, it's looking red. Hi, Linda. I know, and I'm not patient. <laughs> I am not patient at all, right? So what I'll do, if I'm in a die mood, you know, and I let's say I go to Tuesday morning, so I may order an AliExpress, but I'm still getting a few from Tuesday morning, that type of thing. I have only ordered twice. I'm the same way. I just, it takes so dang long. I will say this, Alina Cuddle, I have gotten it in less than two weeks, both times I've ordered. That's not as bad as some people have had to wait a very long time. So, yeah. Um, oh, KS Crafts. I've heard they're really good, too, and they don't steal designs. That's exactly right, Amy. I've been watching, like, Tony and others that have been, you know, getting them on their design team. So, thank you. I need to check out their dyes. And who do you do these swaps with? You know what? It's anybody. So our community, are you newer to crafting? Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. And um, but what I wanted to say is you could do a private swap with somebody. Maybe just email or DM them on Instagram. Oh, you're new. Yay. Um, a lot of people have swaps that you can join. Um, and let's see. Allie and Case Craft both ship. Yes, Amy, that's good to know. Oh, uh, what is it called? K I K I K J Y whatever. Oh, good. So, um, and ladies, can you kind of help Kate Payne get some ideas of how to do some swaps? And yes, welcome. We're so glad. We're so glad that you're newer and getting this is an amazing community. You're gonna absolutely love, love, love it. You will. So that's fantastic. But yeah, people do swaps. You can, you know, you can email, whatever, or you can message, like if you leave a comment on someone's video, you know, but yeah, I mean, that's how I started is when I started my channel is when I got more involved with swapping and that sort of thing. But you don't have to have a channel. A lot of people do it. A lot. Everyone. I mean, a ton of people. Yeah, of course. And you can email me anytime. My email is always listed in my um, description box. So if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you. Absolutely. We're just so happy you're here. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have never hosted a swap. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, my God. 
I don't know why. I just have not. Um, but I've been thinking of doing a memory dex because I got that Heidi Swap spinner and I would love to fill it up with everybody's like information and favorite colors and all that stuff and their wonderful talentedness or whatever of making their memory dex card. So I have been thinking of doing that. We've even talked about doing a swap here. Yes, we have, Amy. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, so yeah, you know, we need to we'll, we'll need to do something. But girls, let's um keep K Pain in mind and invite her to anything, okay? Okay, yeah, maybe I should do that. Should I I should probably just do a video and come up, you know, I want to put together a little prize package. Is that what people do? And then at the end, they do a drawing of everybody who entered. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? So, um, yeah, that would be fun. You did, Chrissy. I know mine's empty. <laughs> I don't have any yet, anything to put in it. But, yes, they're awesome. I'm going to bling mine up because it's black and I got to bling it up, right? But I love it. I mean, I love that it's going to be a cute little spinner, you know? So, yeah, yours has one. <laughs> Will you cut me one? Oh, the um, memory decks, guys? Is that what you're talking about, Marcy? And yes, I will. I have four different shapes because I got them the Heidi Swap. There's two in here and two in here. I'll show you in just a second. Let me just um, uh, finish this one rosette here. But yeah, I'll, cu I'll cut you some. I got something going to you anyway, so. I'll throw it in. Do you want me just to cut it on a regular white cardstock and then you, oh, wait, I got to cut. I'll have to cut some pattern paper too. So I'll, I'll do that for you. I'll figure it out. Um, the first one and only one you made. Girl, this is my first one that's going to go in this uh, embellishment box. <laughs> okay, Denise, absolutely. Oh, Paula, you're sweet. Okay, girls. Well, then I got to do it. It's about time because I have never done that. <laughs> okay. So here's another little rosette. Um, let's see. I think what I, what I was planning on doing, because you know I love the pink and green, and because I think they're going to go really well with what I'm doing here. Let me take a drink of my soda, girls. Sorry, I'm thirsty. Um, oh, I haven't even plugged in my hot glue gun. Oh, somebody uh emailed me. Gosh, who was that? Good gravy. Um, about this hot glue gun, you guys. I've been trying so many different ones because I just can't find the perfect hot glue gun, right? Okay, Denise. Um, so this one, I want to tell you about this. This has it, it was really inexpensive. I don't remember it's it's just the Ad tech to temp. It may have been Tuesday morning that I got it at. Anyway, it has a high and a low. Low is fine. I tend to use high. I don't know why, but I do, even though I burnt myself so many dang times. Um, oh, well, Paula, you guys, you can make your own. I'm going to show you that. I'll show you that. Anyway, um, here's the thing. It's cordless. What happens is when it gets really hot, you just unplug this, and that's handy because you can just use it cordless but only for about five minutes, but it's still handy. And the thing is, when you have it on high, you really need to, because it gets like smoking freaking hot. So you really need to unplug it and use it cordless. But it's that is handy. I mean, the only thing about this one, where's my little tray? Oh, here it is. It says wifey on it. Isn't that cute? Got it at Tuesday morning. Is Oh, and you can see all these little, like, they look like little pearls. It drips a lot. But... A lot of hot glue guns do, right? So, you know, it just is what it is. I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much. I know a lot of people. I don't think it's super stringy. It just drips from the gun on my tray. So, anyway. More money for <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Anyway, I, anyway, this was really inexpensive. I don't remember if that's where I got it. But, you guys, this, I think you can get it at Walmart, wherever. Um, I spent more money on Surebounder one, but that works better for home DIYs than it does for paper crafting, in my opinion. So I don't use it for paper crafting. All right. So what I'm going to do, 
But this is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to package these. This is really hard to see, but all it is is like a mint green plain tool. There's no glitter or anything on it. just a plain tool. Um, and I'm going to cut some. And again, I'm just estimating. I don't know. You know, I just play around. Let's start with this one and see, see what we got. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm thinking for just a moment, is, yeah, that's going to be, I'm going to test something out. This is going to be probably way too much, but let's just kind of bunch it up. I just want to see, and I know this is hard for you to see, that's a little too big. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold it over a couple times, maybe three times like this, okay? And that's just so it's easy for me to kind of cut it in half. And maybe I can use it on each one. Now, I don't, there's people that do this way better than me. I basically just kind of do um, a very loosely accordion fold like I did with the rosette. And it <laughs> it's a mess, okay? And I want it to kind of be a mess. I mean, honestly, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my rosette over it just to give it a little bit of texture on that side, right? Um, and this is completely optional. And you're going to laugh at this part. Sometimes I even staple this. I know that sounds weird, but it works. So I'm all about, watch, it won't work now. While I'm on camera, it's not going to work. Because I got to keep this clump of tool together. <laughs> together. You can hot glue, but you got to be a little careful. This stapler's new and it's not, where's my other one? It's just not like wide enough down there like my other one, but I'm going to, you could sew these together, you know? So, and it's, it's a funky shape. It's not perfect. It's just a poof, right? Um, so I had to go get a Diet Coke. You need a coffee. Oh, you needed to get a coffee. Yeah, Amy, I find it's just an extra little something, something, you know. Um, so there you go. And then what I'll do is you could either hot glue, you know, you could just do a um, little foam dot, you know, little glue dot or foam dot on there as well um, instead of hot glue. But I am going to do hot glue because even though I stapled this, this is so hard to see. Um, it might just kind of keep it a little bit more together, if that makes sense. So I'm going to wait for my hot glue gun um, to heat up. And while I'm doing that, I'll just make this one really quick. So, yeah. Hey, what's everybody working on this weekend? What are you guys doing? Are you crafting? Are you doing other stuff with family? Or I think I have a summer cold. I It's been kind of like bad allergies but now i think it's a straight up cold i when i woke up this morning i'm like oh that's great <laughs> that's just fantastic and richie's like well did the grandbabies give you a cold you know because sometimes the kids are sick i'm like no none of them were sick when i was there yesterday so i don't know where i got it uh, yeah I'm, oh yes please everybody will you please support each other and go go sub Check out each other's channels. That would be wonderful. I would appreciate it. And if I so hate asking this, but first of all, thank you for the five likes. But if you guys don't mind giving me a thumbs up, it does really help my channel. So I do appreciate it. I hate asking, but you know. Um, oh, you have to study for an exam. I thought you were, are you not out of school? Do you go through school? Like through the summer and stuff. Oh, it's your last semester. Wow. And two pocket letters for a swap. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Same here, MB. Every year at the beginning of summer, I get a bad. I know. And my my left ear is like all plugged up, you know. Okay, this is feeling hot enough. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, I'm going to just put it on here real quick. And I'm not putting a lot. And then I'm just going to lay it down like this. And be very careful because... Crepe paper nor tool is very thick. You can burn yourself and it may stick a little bit on your mat. Doesn't bother me. It rubs right off. Um, oh, that's okay, Jenny. Oh, that's so awesome. Good for you. You get to prescribe meds, man. 
<laughs> that's awesome. That's a very difficult thing. You might as well have been in med school, right? I mean, that's in, that's incredible. What a great accomplishment. So congratulations, girl. Not an easy thing. Okay. So there's my next one. Again, I don't care that I get a little bit on here. And it's because you're doing it on a tool. It's going to see through, right? So the other thing I think I'm going to do, because this is kind of ugly on the back. You got the staples in the hot glue, right? I bet it has been. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me pull some scraps of the paper that I've been using. And I did get these out too, because these are cute pink tags. I didn't know if I would use them for anything. So I just, I just pulled them. So let me, I got, I got some scraps over here. Um, and I'm going to grab a little punch. Give me one second. Oh, you guys, I, oh, I got a um, punch D stash, by the way. Um, and it had a bunch of, I'll pull them over here. It had, I was so excited. It had a bunch of Martha Stewart punches. And I know you can get a few now at Michael's, but I haven't seen these. These are old school, I think. Like this has like the little cross stitch thing. And of course it goes out like that. This one is the XOXO. Oh, isn't that cute? And then this one is kind of like uh, little scallops with little dots. I was so happy to find, I don't know. I don't, somebody did a D stash. So this one goes with the dots. This one, this one might've been mine with another one anyway. They didn't all come with the corner thing, but I'm okay. It's, it was a I, it was a woman. She was um, selling stuff because either she had duplicates or whatever, but it's helping put her daughter through college. So I thought that was kind of cool. So anyway, oh, see my nose is running. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, so I thought that was kind of fun to get those because I've always wanted the Martha Stewart, a lot of Martha Stewart punches, but yet I was late to the party. Here's my hubby. Okay, Richie's going to say hi to everybody. <laughs> hi, everyone. Oh, he brought me grapes. How sweet is that? Thank you, honey. I didn't even know you bought grapes well, at the store. Is... Yeah, so <laughs> that's Richie, my husband. What a sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you very much, honey. Okay, so... Um, I'm watching your live while I cut. Oh, ACCs. And on your cookie. Oh, that's so fun. And thank you, Chrissy. That's awesome. Oh, I know. Jenny's channel so sweet. Uh, Jenny. <laughs> Kathy, I know. Drummer boy, Lauren, I know. Mr. MB. <laughs> we were just talking about his drums today, actually. He needs to go pick them up. Um, they were doing rehearsals. He was in a little band and uh, they're not really active right now. And um, so he needs to go pick those up. Anyway, the only reason I'm putting a little is because, you know, I had a little bit of ugliness on that, right? Hi, Sally. Oh my gosh, a wedding shower. How fun. Oh, Jenny. Um, that is exciting. My, I'm hosting a wedding shower for my son's fiance in late August, which I need to really get on that. Um, but also in, when are we going in August? Oh my God, I got to pay for that. We're going to Cabo for her bachelorette party. <laughs> How fun is that? Okay. So when I package now, I will need to put something on the front to make it cute. And then when I package them, usually what I do is just put a little piece of, um, I'll show a little piece. Uh, where are my foam? Hold on a second. Let me grab them to show you because it works out really well for me. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, I have a bunch of different kinds. It doesn't matter what kind you have, but, um, uh, for example, God, I'm tearing this apart. Okay, Mary Beth, slow it on down. Um, <clears throat> I'll just do it now to show you. So what I do is when you pull this off, um, you know, you've got the sticky side and you've also got the non-sticky side. So I put, I stick it here, right? But I do not peel that off. And the reason why, well, obviously there's a reason why, but uh, when I package them, 
um, I will put a little hot glue on the slick side that's not pulled off and put it on my paper and then put it in my pretty package. Then when the recipient gets it, it's not too hard to take off and then they can rip the plastic off or they can just rip the plastic off from there and then they can use it. That's how I do it, but there's probably better ways, but it's worked for me, you know. Um, you ordered some nesting stitch square dies. Nice. 18. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I don't have a bigger one either, but that's uh, somebody may, Amy. That's really cool. Oh, Jenny, you can feel free to text me anytime, sweetie. Um, we're doing much better. So again, thank you, everybody. I had to eat a grape. Wasn't that sweet of Richie? All right. Now, I'm really slow. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I try. Um, what do I want to put on the front? Oh, I know what I want to do. Let's try this. Let's just see if this is going to look okay. If I do, oh, look at this. <laughs> I got to die cut out the swan. Okay. Oops, here's the little swan, whatever that is, that piece. That's going to look cute. Oh, that's so sweet. Tell him thank you. Yeah, we are. I mean, as I was saying, long road, it's getting shorter. So, yay. We're doing really good. Now, I haven't heard from him this morning. I was over there yesterday. Let me check, see if he texted me. Nope. Um, I tried to call him this morning, and I texted him, and which is okay. I mean, if, I'm not worried or anything. He's just probably resting or, you know doing something with the kids or whatever. So I'm not worried because he was really, really good yesterday. And I was so happy because Wednesday and Thursday were not the best days. And for any of you that are on that may not know, um, two weeks ago, tomorrow will be two weeks. My son was in a really, really bad motorcycle accident. So this amazing K Payne, this community is so amazing. I know you're new to the community they have just showed me so much love and for my son and me. And I'm just so, so grateful. Um, so yes, but he's doing much, much better. Time heals all. You're right. All right. So Jenny, look at, I got a cute little four by six, <laughs> one of these cute little cutters. Because you and I both like that We Are Memory Keepers one. I got this at Walmart. I want to say it was like 7 or $8, but I don't remember for sure. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, he was, he was, it was pretty bad. Um, all right. Here's what I'm going to do. What do you guys say? I want to try to cut this out of foam and see what it looks like because I love doing that. And then, Lauren, were you the one asking if you can use a punch? I think you were. And I'm going to test it. I don't. I think I've tried before, but I can't remember. And I want to say it didn't really work, but I will try it right now. Okay, Lauren, I'll, I'll try it. You do, Jenny. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I didn't even, I didn't even know they made one that size. It was so cute, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the darker pink on this one. I'm such a pink girl. And the lighter pink on this one. Um, there's a lot of cute colors though. We can do some more. Ooh, green. Green might be nice. Ooh, I may have to do green. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So let's cut it out and see what it's like. Um, first things first, Lauren, I'm going to show you. Where is that little punch? Now, this is just a record. Is this recollections? Um, it is. I'm going to. No, it's not my way, honey. I'm going to try this one, but I'm also going to pull like an EK tools because I think they're a little bit heavier duty and we'll try them both. Okay. You missed the whole punch. Um, this one. Jenny, would you please? Because I would so be interested. So would Marcy, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, do. That's a great video. Okay. Let's try it on this one. Again, this one. The foam doesn't even fit in it, okay? Let me get a different one and let's see what happens. Uh, let me get one that I think would at least be a good test, right? Uh, I 
don't know if the phone will go on that one either. Give me a second. Give me force like my butterfly. I got my whole little box of punches because I need to come up with a better solution for these suckers. Oh, God, I can't even find the button. All right, let's try this one. Um, yeah, let's see. And maybe this, well, this foam is really not thick, so. Yes, the trimmer I got at Walmart. The foam may be too. Oh, you're talking to Jenny. <laughs> okay, it fits in this one. You noticed on that other one it didn't. So let us see. Oh, oh my gosh, it worked. Oh, so your EK Tools works. Now, I haven't tried a Hobby Lobby. Wow, Lauren. I have not, I didn't know that. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Yippee. Okay, so that's good to know. Now, you guys, this die cuts like butter, no joke. So let's get that going, shall we? Um, one of the best purchases, I've mentioned this before that I ever, okay, so I have the big kick, which is the same as the big shot. I did buy new plates, but I'm using these things till they die. Um, <laughs> one of the very, very best purchases for tools, speaking of tools, that I ever made was this magnetic thing. I love this thing. You don't have to use washi tape when you're die cutting. Now, I want to say, don't quote me. It was $29.99 maybe or something like that. But I got, you use your 40% off coupon. So for the amount of money under 20 bucks, maybe like 17 or whatever, worth it. So, so much. So just FYI, in case you guys don't have that, it's I love, 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 love it. So you put this on. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, let's go. Let's rock and roll. Yes. Try that, Lauren. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I know, Sandra, right? Okay. I'm just cutting over here to the side. I'm just cranking it through. So give me a, give me a minute and let me show you this uh, swan. I, I love it that you can use foam. Just on your regular, you know, thingamajigger. And look, it just comes right off. Look at this. Now there's a little bit of little dot holes, but not many that I have to push through. Look at how awesome that is. See, I love, love, love it. So cute. Um, so now I think I want to, I probably should have cut this thing in half. That's okay. I can use the other half. I am going to use green. Isn't that awesome? You guys may have done this before, but when I figured out I could die cut foam, I was like, hello. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I know, Marcy. I still haven't taken that thing back because I haven't been back. Um, and that's another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. We're going to have a real, let's have a real talk, shall we? I'm going to eat a grape or two first. Uh, where's my pokey tool? I just had it. Oh, there it is. Um, so on my channel, as we, as you guys know, especially the ones that have been with me for a while, I love doing lives like this where we do stuff. I love doing videos of tutorials and project shares. And I've done a lot of haul videos too, right? Online. A lot of Tuesday people love the Tuesday morning hauls and I'm not going to lie. Not that I care, but just as an FYI, my haul videos hands down by far gets the most views, which whatever, that's great. More than my projects, <laughs> but that's okay. People love watching those. I love watch. I watch haul videos all the dang time. Um, but, and I was talking to you, Denise, about this a little bit. Um, you probably won't see as many from me. And the reason why I'm going to tell you, I'm going to talk through this with you on my thought process as much as I absolutely love shopping for craft, craft stuff. Um, and a lot of times I would shop for giveaways and things like that too. Right. And I try to share and all that. Um, I, I have, I have plenty, I have plenty and I need to use what I have and I want to share what I have. I still have so much that I can still share. Right. So I'm, I just really, you know, I know, 
Tuesday morning recently was having all the Maggie Holmes stuff. And, you know, I love me some Maggie Holmes. Not only was it a bad time for me because of my son, I just, I don't know. I just don't have the desire. Now I know there's some Tim Holtz stuff coming out tomorrow. Guess what? I'm not going. So I just wanted to bring that up. Um, I know people love haul videos, but I probably, I mean, here and there, I just ordered from Peachy Cheap. So, you know, but um, I just won't be doing as many. And I hope you guys are okay with that, you know, um, for a while anyways. I just want to use up a lot of what I have if I can, you know. I don't know. That's that's just my thought process. Now it's TM. <laughs> oh, it is out already? Yeah. See, I don't. Well, and I'm not a huge Tim Holtz fan. I mean, I like his tools, but I'm not. I love his stuff, and I love how people use his stuff. But I don't, that's not really the style that I craft, you know, but I love it. I mean, I love watching how people use it and everything. It's so, so cool. Um, so don't take that the wrong way. It's just, I don't buy a lot of his stuff typically. I mean, I do occasionally, but, you know, it just depends on what it is. I love his hardware and of course his distress oxides and stuff like that. Absolutely. I buy all that. So. What in the hell got on this swan? <gasps> oh, there it is. I thought it was something permanent. It's going to freak out. It's like staticky sticking. There we go. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, <laughs> you're on a no spend. Uh, oh, you did go to Tuesday Morning Center. You're on a no spend and went to Walmart today. Well, you know, Walmart's Walmart. <laughs> I get it. Um. Oh, Tim Holtz. Yeah. Well, good point, Kathy. If there's a clearance, you better believe. That's an exception to the rule, right? <laughs> okay, honey. Okay, Paula. Good luck. Oh, thank you, Paula. Okay, not too bad, though, beauty. You didn't go crazy, crazy Jenny, right? Hey, Jen. Oh, Christy. Hi, Christy. Do you really? I guess I haven't noticed that, but I'm sure all the time. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay, look at how cute these little swans. I think they're going to be really cute. What do you guys think? Do you like them? I hope you do. So again, I think they're flat enough where I can put it in a one inch, you know, as a little embellishment. I don't know. We're going to see. So what I'm going to do here is I don't want to hot glue. I think it'll melt the foam probably. So I'm just going to use, you know what? I'm just going to use a little bit of, I think, wet glue. And let's just see. It should work, right? Yeah, right. They are. Like, now that's different. He sent glue, cardstock, you know, that's all essentials, right? So I know, Jen, hope you're doing well. <laughs> Sandra. Oh, right. Of course, Amy. Yeah, it is fun, though. It's fun to cut out and foam. <laughs> I've cut it out in paper, obviously, too. I don't even know where this gang thing goes. I'm I'm kind of just guessing. Y'all, I have no idea. I just, whatever. I think that's where, I think that's where it goes. Now, luckily, this glue dries clear because in a couple of the little holes, you can see the glue, but that's okay. I think it'll dry clear. Uh, I bet you've been busy with the kids, right? Oh, I, hey, but not anymore, Jenny. And if you think about it, I haven't been to Tuesday morning in over two weeks. Can you believe that? Which typically that's normal. I usually go a couple times a month, um, kind of when I get paid, right? But I'm not going to now. I'm just, you know. I'm just, uh, I got too much. I got plenty and, um, yeah. Oh, 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 he moved. I may have to use something else. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if this dries. Okay. Anyway. Um, so that's, that's what I'm doing. So I guess you could say I'm on a no spend somewhat. Now I'll, I'll still order online here and there. For example, peachy cheap has a good thing, which they did this week. I got the, it's not here yet, but I got the, um, pink paisley like a bunch of different ephemera and stuff and it was $7.99 then you gotta pay the shipping but so I did get that you know but that's about you know not doing a lot yeah 
Yeah, sub to Jen. She's great. Absolutely. Okay. We're going to see if this is going to work on here. I think it is. And you know what? I think I am going to pop it up. These aren't real, really high demand. By the time I'm done with this, it's not going to fit in the dang box. You guys know that, right? <laughs> I mean, we all know that. Oh, that is not really gluing down properly, but we're going to, we'll make sure. I'm just going to pop him or her. And I am going to put just a little teeny dab of hot glue. And put our little swan. Oh, oh, I forgot to poke his little nosy thing out, beak or whatever you call this thing. <laughs> Let me get that. Oh, come on, poke out. Sorry, guys, I'm I'm concentrating. Okay, there we go. What do you, I hope you guys like it. What do you think? It's kind of cute, right? Oh, Jen, that's great. Congratulations, hon. Okay, I'm going to sneeze. If I sneeze, I, I really think I'm battling a cold. I'm kind of hoping it's just really bad allergies. Marcy, Nurse Marcy, you can tell me. But I don't know. I woke up this morning and, like, my ear is plugged up. I'm just not feeling great in my sinuses. And Richie can tell, like, in my voice a little bit. It's better now that I've been up. Marcy, tell me it's only allergies, please. I think allergies and colds are so much alike, you know. Marcy's a nurse, by the way. <laughs> I, got, I have to go to her with everything. <laughs> it's like free free medical. <laughs> I'm, oh, I just got my, oh, my little thingy. See, I'm thinking, let me try this and just see. And I got to hope that that whiteness kind of, yeah, it'll go away. Um, let's see. I'm kind of behind on, con yes, congratulations. Oh, thanks, Jenny. Um, I hope I have beat with a wet noodle. If I, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I'm allergic to. Well, I'm allergic to cats, but I don't have a cat. But um, um, I think it's when the weather changes and stuff. I don't know, but it does feel kind of like a cold. Yeah, Amy. So I think it can be allergies and sometimes they kind of turn into a little bit of a cold, right? That's how I feel, Amy. Exactly what you're describing. You do, Sandra. <laughs> You're so cute, Sandra. Well, congratulations, Sandra. <laughs> Are you, Jen? Yeah, we, my husband's extremely allergic, and so am I, to cats. And But he's allergic to dogs also. Now, I'm not allergic to dogs. Yeah, I think for me to, you know, just everything blooming, which I love. It's just I think I have, you know, some allergic aller allergies going on. Yeah, Kathy. That's probably what it is. All right. I'm, do you guys want to see? Uh, sorry, I'm eating grapes. Do you guys want to see how I package? I will share that with you. Now, we may have to do a little bit of a trick trick <laughs> to fit in these boxes. So let's see what we can do. This is just where I keep all my, you know. <laughs> These thing in my jiggers. Yeah, there's no way. Let me look at the. Let's test out the six by six. You're just a supporter. Well, you're a good supporter. Yeah, clear drainage. No, we're getting disgusting now. <laughs> Marcy, let's just take a look. See, you know what? It will. It'll work. Okay. Well. Not going to be able to do much of a topper. That's okay. Well, we're going to make it work. Somehow, some way. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just going as an extra. Okay. Let's use... Oh, something just... Fit. What the heck? Okay, let me get some paper that I want to use. Okay, isn't cool. Thank you for your clarification. Yes, I am. Jen. Okay, you guys are good. I don't <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. I just hope I don't miss any comments if you're trying to ask me something. All right, I'm just looking over here at my paper. And initially, I thought it would be fun to do wood grain, but I'm not really liking it. 
<laughs> I'm not allergic to paper, Mercy. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to go with is this fun little, this is gold. So I think I'm going to do that. I just think that'll look cute. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. All right. So let me get my, my trimmer that the one that I need to replace the blend on. Here it is. All right. I have a, a huge mess going on. Don't I? Let me get some of this moved a little bit. I will remember to show you those in a moment. And there was something else I was going to do, but I'll think of it. We punched the foam. All right. So let me do this really quick. Mars, I know. Amy, she's funny. <laughs> I really don't feel that great though. It sucks. I hate that, but that's okay. All right. How, how, what is this size? Five by seven. Okay. Set that aside so I don't ruin it after all that work. Um, I'm going to go like four and three quarters. Oh, I forgot to put my new blade in. And again, what I do with my old blades, I have a bunch of them now, is I save them and use them for chipboard. I just can't use them for paper anymore because they kind of rip the paper. So that's why I had to get some new blades at Walmart the other day. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, that's when I got them. I'm so glad I remembered. It's always something I forget, you know. So, I remember there were two Jen and Jen I met on Jan's. Oh, you usually, uh, do you usually watch Jan? Yeah, Jan and I used to be good friends. Uh, unfortunately, we're, we're not very much anymore, but not for any reason. I mean, I, you know, we, we occasionally stay in touch, but yeah, that's good. I hope she's doing well. I hope her son's doing well. Okay, does this blade even fit? Oh, you're so sweet, Jen. Um, let me think about that for a moment. I mean, I would say motorcycles, but let's not do that. <laughs> May not want to do that. <laughs> oh, a cheeseburger. That sounds so good. Okay, Amy. What is going on? This better work. Okay, let me take the paper out for a minute. What's, this is not feeling like, okay, there it goes. Um, yeah, but I think she took, you know, she was going through a lot with her son being sick. So of course, I think she had to kind of take a break, bless her heart, you know? Um, but yeah, I know that she goes live a lot with people. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'll let you on Google. Hey, I'm an idiot. I don't know. But, um, it's a five by seven, so I kind of want to do six and three quarters, I think. Oh, actually, I need to go lower. Okay, I need to do, my box is only six by six. Well, we're going to have to make this somehow work. We're just going to have to. Oh, I haven't either. Well, not that I would. <laughs> She's been on a break, but yeah, Jen, that's where I met you a long time ago. There you go. He loves pizza, loves it. He wouldn't, you know what, Jen, he would appreciate anything, honest to God. He, he really would. He's so appreciative of everyone that has sent their love and yeah, so we're going to see if this works. I don't know. This is what I was talking about though. When I, um, I still have the, the plasticky piece over, it's not sticky. And then I put the hot glue and then pop it down like that. That's how I do that. Um, I know he loves pizza. <laughs> Sandra, yeah, I do. What do you mean? Thank you. What other account do you have? I don't know what you're talking about, Sandra. You got to fill me in. Oh, Marcy. 
Yeah, something to make him laugh would be good. Okay, so here we're going to have to do a little bit of um, different. Normally what I would do is I would leave some room up here and I would put a cute bag topper. But because I'm wanting to put it in here, notice I'm not going to have any room. So I'm going to have to self-adhere it there and I may not be able to do a little bag topper. And I think that's going to be okay, right? I, I, I do. I think it'll still be okay. It just is what it is. So. I have a channel called Mama Bear Crafts. Oh my gosh, Laura, please do. We'll go sub to you. Mama Bear Crafts. I have to look that up. We will sub to you. All of us. We definitely love to support each other. So, absolutely. That's awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> What is my problem? It's because I don't feel good. <laughs> okay, there's one little swan. This is taking me forever. I don't know why, but, you know. Oh, I see, Sandra, what you're saying. <laughs> it's been your favorite since you were in Mama's tummy. That's cute. Mama must have liked pizza. <laughs> Oh, absolutely, Laura. We take care of each other. Okay, so that's how I put it on there. And then it's probably not going to fit. <laughs> We're going to see. <laughs> and if it doesn't, it is what it is. And I'll just send it as an extra. <laughs> not in the box. Okay, and then I got to shimmy it in here, right? Now, what I was saying is usually then... I leave a little bit up on top to do the bag topper, but I can't on this one because it won't fit in my box. She see two New York slices a day. I love it. Oh, Kathy. <laughs> oh, good, Sander. Okay, and see, it's going to fit. So excited, but again... I won't be able to do a topper, but I think that's okay. I think the person will still, I don't even know who this is going to. This is just something I decided to make, but I think they would still like it, right? Look, and I can fit a few more little thingies in this box, but look at how adorable is that? I love it. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Kathy, you're cleaning your craft room. Girl, I need to be cleaning my craft room. Oh, Jenny, <laughs> you're not round. All right. I was going to show Marcy, and I think Denise had to go for a little bit, but I was going to, so that you can pick, I'm going to, I'll just cut out all four, but I wanted to um, show you the, the four dies I have. As a matter of fact, when I ordered these quite a while ago, I thought there was just two. I didn't realize it was two in each pack. So bonus. Oh, I know you were, Sandra. I knew that. You And then I finally figured it out because I saw your comment on my poll of the Gemini Junior. I didn't see that till this morning. I'm an idiot. Oh, well, hello, Craft Making Mama. How are you? Okay, so this is the one I cut out. Is Marcy, are you on? Um... I'm going to cut all four, but this one has a rounded top. This one kind of goes in, which is cute. Oops, did you see? Oh, that's not. There we go. In on each corner. And then these two each have a tab at the top. This one's on the left, and this one's in the middle. So, yeah, they're cute. I will. You do not need a die, okay? The other thing that came with kind of this package thing is this, which I don't need because what this does is just cuts those bottom. Like you could cut the paper with the trimmer, whatever paper, and then it cuts these little thingies at the bottom, or you can cut the paper with the trimmer and literally take your scissors and cut these things. It's like that simple. So you don't need a die. You don't need this. I just happened to get it because I was getting the spinner and just kind of wanted it, you know, but you, I, I went this long without it. You don't, not that I ever made one, but <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, Marcy. Bye, Jen. Thank you, Jenny. 
Oh, good, good, Denise. I, do you want? I was just gonna cut all four a few times for you guys each, so I'll just send them to you. Yeah, they're cute, aren't they? Um. Okay, so here's the problem, Jenny. I don't know, and here's why. I ordered the spinner, both sets of these dies, which have two in each of them, and this as a combo. Um, and it was through someone's channel, and I can't think of her name. I can't think of her name. Oh, my gosh. I'll have to find it, and I'll text you. But um, in hindsight, I... Well, she made it sound like exclusive, like it was just coming back and like you couldn't get it many places. And I don't know if you can. We'll talk about this because I, I, I don't, I don't know. I really don't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give me one second, Zach's uh, girlfriend. Oh, no. Oh, what a... Mm. Sorry, guys. I got to deal with this really quick with my son. Just give me one second, sorry. Okay. Um, so anyway, I, I I think the full package thing was around 80, which I think is kind of expensive, plus shipping. So I don't know. I was supporting her new little store, whatever. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> so I will, Jenny, I'll let you know. Thank you, Chasing Creativity. Uh, did you get one too, Lauren? I don't know if you can get them at many places. I, I, I don't know. Oh, Lollipalooza also. Uh, Jenny, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's It has to do with Lily's mom. It's just a big hot mess. My son's had custody of Lily since she was two months old, full custody. Her mom's a piece of work, and there's a lot going on there. And she just picked a really awful time to mess with him, you know. But anyway. We'll, we'll get through it. Um, so, Marcy. <laughs> yeah, I know. And and I, I think you could probably order. So, I, we'll talk. I don't know. <laughs> See, Amazon, right? I don't know what I was doing. But anyways. Okay. So, there's that about the dice. So, we got that taken care of. Um. I am so slow. I don't know what's wrong with me. This crafting, I used to be kind of a quick crafter. I don't know what's been going on with me lately. So, um, uh, anyway, I was going to do charms. And so I think what I'm going to do since I've been on, I usually like to be on about an hour or so, because you guys have, you know, you guys are busy and everything. I don't want to keep you too long. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm going to let you go, and then I'm going to try to work on some of these embellishments. I do need to go see my son, so I do need to, you know, do that. Um, and I really want to go live again this weekend, so I'm going to try to, okay? So anyway, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much um, for joining me. It's been a lot of fun. I'm so slow. I need to get, I need to get faster. I'm making these embellishments. I'll never get it done. But, um, anyway, thanks girls. I really appreciate it. I will Jenny. Thank you. I will definitely. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Thank you all. I appreciate it so much. So we'll talk to everybody soon. Oh, hi, Sally. <laughs> Bye Sally. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Barbara. Thanks, Marcy. Oh, good, Jenny. All right, girls, we'll talk to everybody soon. Have a really nice Saturday. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.